Hi, my name is Dan Burbank, and I'm talking to you from aboard the International Space Station as commander of Expedition 30. Holidays spent away from family and friends, especially when you're thousands of miles away, and in our case, hundreds of miles above the surface of the planet, can be a little tough sometimes. But we know that in our case, in a very real sense, we're not far from those who care about us. For one thing, we have hundreds of people worldwide in control centers watching over us and our space station 24-7. And we also know that our families and friends are thinking about us and supporting us every step of the way. My crewmates, Anton Shkaplerov, Anatoly Venetian, and I have been living aboard Space Station for nearly a month. It's been a very busy but wonderful experience. ISS is designed for a crew of six, so we've been at half strength for quite a while now. That's about to change next week when we're joined by our friends and crewmates, Oleg Kononenko, Andre Kuypers, and Don Pettit. With their arrival, ISS will be back at full strength, but we'll also have three good friends uh, to join us. We'll also have them just in time for the holidays, the Christmas and New Year's holidays. We've already put up decorations, and we've gathered together all the cards and gifts that our friends and families have sent to us, and we're planning a couple of very big meals that, uh, that'll be great, and we'll celebrate the holidays in, uh, in great fashion um, after they get here. To see planet Earth, from above, from the vantage point of space is an incredible experience and we're very fortunate to be able to do that. This planet of ours is indescribably beautiful when seen from above. In my opinion, photographs just don't do it justice. A couple of nights ago, at the end of the workday, the three of us were in the cupola taking turns sharing the view. And uh, that's a room that we have in one of the modules about midway down the stack of the space station. It's got a 360 degree view and you can see thousands of miles of the Earth's surface from a horizon to horizon to horizon to horizon. And uh, it was nighttime and we we're flying up the east coast of the United States and we could see from Florida to Cape Cod, Massachusetts. We could see from Washington, D.C. to Chicago, Illinois. And then within about 10 minutes, we were flying over the North Atlantic and the Aurora Borealis, the northern lights, were putting on a spectacular show. And then a few minutes later, we were flying over the Swiss Alps, still nighttime, and then over the Mediterranean. And to me, it looked as if the northern lights were perfectly bracketed by city lights on both sides of the Atlantic. And I couldn't help but think what many of, um, of the previous space flyers have thought, I think, and said before, and that is that this planet is unimaginably beautiful, and it's peaceful, and it's serene when you look at it from, plan from, from space. And that night pass, to us, seemed like a holiday greeting card, the most beautiful one you could imagine. So on behalf of the Expedition 30 crew aboard the International Space Station, we wish everyone on planet Earth a happy, safe and most of all peaceful holiday season.